Hey everybody, I'm Asian Funk and welcome back to my channel. Today we're passing by the Sacramento area again and there are a lot of comic book shops here so we're gonna visit four of them. Uh, the first one being Empire's Comics. So we just got out of Empire's Comics and I did get a few books. Uh, shop's pretty cool, uh, the staff's really awesome. Uh, their back issues actually are pretty good. Uh, my only complaint is that none of the comics come with boards. So you have these comics that are just kind of in plastic sleeves and they're kind of just like flopping around. So that always makes me kind of queasy. Um, and then the other thing is that if you are looking for back issues, do not go there on new comic book day because what happens is they put these giant foam core boards on top of half of their uh, back issue boxes so you can't actually look at them yeah otherwise i would go back totally cool shop uh and i, I did get some stuff so highly recommended the next shop we're going to go to is called world's best comics and how can i not go to a shop called the world's best comics so uh let's go take a look All right, so we just got out of World's Best Comics, and I hate to say it, but they didn't have the World's Best Comics. But the shop was pretty cool, the staff was great. Uh, their back issues were pretty good. Uh, not as extensive as the last place, So, uh, but I did walk out with a few books, so that was cool. There were books I hadn't seen before, so that was pretty neat. Uh, but they're all pretty modern, uh, as in like in the last couple years. They didn't really have a lot of Golden Age or Silver Age books, so. Um, Hopefully our next stop's gonna have some, and that's gonna be A1 Comics, which I've heard from a lot of people is like the place to go to in Sacramento. A1 Comics is kind of special because they actually have three locations in this area, so uh, we are gonna hit all three places. So let's start with one. Uh, I think uh, first location is in Roseville, and the second one's gonna be in Sacramento, and the next one's gonna be Folsom. So let's hit up the Roseville location.
So just got back from hitting five comic shops in the Sacramento area. I had a blast checking out all of them, especially the three um, A1 comic shops. Even though they were the same um, company, each shop felt very different and they all had very different inventories in terms of comic books. So that was pretty fun. Um, but, and yeah, I got a pretty good haul from all five shops. Uh, the first one is this 30th anniversary um, A1 Comics blank variant. Um, I don't see a lot of comic shops have their own blank variant. This is the first time I've seen it, and I'll probably have someone sketch on this at some point. Uh, I don't know who or when, but um, got plans for this one. So I think this is, this is just four. <laughs> I think his name is Mr. Impossible or something like... Oh, the Impossible Man. X-Men 1 homage cover. Um, so instead of like Magneto being over here, it's the Impossible Man. And then instead of the X-Men being here, it's the Fantastic Four. All Red is the artist. Um, but yeah, I just really thought it was cool. I really liked the, you know, fun 60s, it uh, feels like an Archer type style um, illustration. Next up is Street Fighter 2, number zero. I used to play Street Fighter back in the day. I uh, really just enjoy the, the artists. Um, they basically do like the concept art for all the Street Fighter games. I just really like how it looks like an anime. Just really like Wolverine getting punched and breaking the, the title up top. You know, it's pretty simple. There's no, there's no text or words to describe what's happening. Stay on the Wolverine train. This is Sabretooth, uh, number three. I think his last name is Texera. Tech, yeah, something like that. Um, he is an artist that has done a lot of uh, Marvel cards, which is why I uh, recognize his art style. Um, but yeah, just a classic Wolverine versus Sabretooth cover. Uh, really. Just really enjoy it. Uh, next is Secret War number three. This is a Gabriel Del Auto cover of Captain America. Just really like the black background. Appreciate the gold foil tile at the top. This series is really great. And Del Auto did the whole, he did all the covers and all the interior art. So um, that was my introduction to the Secret War storyline. Um, and yeah, just haven't seen this cover in a shop uh, in this condition like ever. I guess they're doing a bunch of uh, these Greatest Moments uh, covers, and I just really like the the simple uh, Luke still training with Yoda. And I don't know why this says Alex Ross on it, because this, this is definitely not Alex Ross. Um, but I just really appreciated the simplicity of this cover. Um, and is it me, or does like Luke look like Harrison Ford here? Right? He doesn't look like Mark Hamill at all. Um, so, yeah, that's like literally the only thing that's bothering me about this cover. Uh, next is Children of the Atom, book one. Really love the, uh, cover by Steve Rude. He does really great illustrations of like 60s, uh, very blocky. Kind of reminds me of Bruce Timm a little bit. This is another Steve Rude cover. The X-Men rendered back in their 60s outfits. It's another cool cover. I picked up another Secret Wars cover, except this is number one, I believe. I think this is also, oh, this is a silver foil title. Didn't notice that before. Uh, this one I just saw like sitting out on top of some of the back issue boxes. Uh, this is a Virgin cover because there aren't any titles or text on it. And this is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Not sure which issue, but it's very rare that you see the Putty Patrol as like the main characters on a cover. Um, really underrated. I always feel like they get forgotten a lot, but they were always basically in every episode of the Power Rangers. So you gotta, you gotta give it up for these guys. I don't remember these black stripes on them. That might be a new thing just for the comics, but when I saw this, I, I, I was like, someone's losing out on this because I'm picking it up. It's only five bucks. Uh, next is Justice number 11, another Alex Ross cover. It's with Green Lantern and Sinestro going at it. I think this is, I would say this is an homage cover as well. But yeah, just really like the, the lighting on this. Oh, and last but not least, one of my favorite pickups is Strange Tales, um, featuring Blade number one with the original Blade, Wesley Snipes. 
and I've never seen this cover before. Um, I have seen only seen one other photo variant cover of Wesley Snipes on a Blade comic, but that was for Blade 2. Um, but I've never seen one for Blade. Just the first one, I guess. I really hope he starts signing at conventions at some point because this is like just begging to be signed. Um, lots of spots where he would sign here, here. I'm not actually sure what his signature looks like, but um, we'll definitely, uh, if he ever makes the rounds to the convention scene, I will have him sign this. But yeah, that's uh, that was my haul. Um, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram um, and Twitter. And yeah, thanks for watching the video.